Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the month of August. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, we have the Seven of Wands reversed, followed then by the Eight of Cups in the upright. And next, we have the Five of Swords uh, upright. Followed by Major Arcana of the Hermit, reversed. And next we have Major Arcana of the Lovers in the upright position. Followed by the Two of Pentacles, upright. And next we have Major Arcana of the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. And next we have the Ace of Pentacles, upright. Followed then by Major Arcana of the Sun, reversed. And lastly, we have the Two of Swords in the reverse. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. Okay, first of all, Scorpio, for your overall energy, you have that of the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. I do like this. I do like this energy reversed. When it's upright, this can represent somebody who's in protective mode, overprotective mode, because they're ready to defend themselves, ready to defend their ideas, ready to uh, defend or protect someone else. Um, when the card is inverted like this this is when we're coming out of protective mode which is very nice to see uh this is when we're no longer either if some of you had been protecting a person because uh, you are covering up for them for whatever reason. You're no longer protecting them. Um, th you're no longer in self-protection mode because for whatever reason you don't feel you have to be anymore. Um, it can represent uh, no longer feeling the need to protect your privacy and so forth because um, something has been released or something has changed. Now your crossing over energy is that of the Eight of Cups in the upright position. The Eight of Cups is an interesting uh, energy because the Eight of Cups, when it's upright, this is when we're we're emotionally fulfilled to a certain extent, but there's something that's missing. Now, it could be a, a favorite hobby. It could be um, a relationship. Uh, maybe you've been single for a long time and you're just really missing the emotional fulfillment of a relationship. For others of you, it could just be that, you know, you have your emotional life intact. You have your significant other, your children, your your family around you and that's why the cups are all full behind but you're searching for something it could just be maybe you just need something new something brand new that gives you a spark on the emotional front so it's kind of like wanderlust um, energy where we're just like you know wandering around <laughs> uh, just looking for some kind of emotional fulfillment now it could be travel sometimes this is wanderlust because we're traveling or wanting to travel and go someplace else because that can sometimes bring an emotional uh, spark to us. Sometimes it's just like I said a hobby or um, uh, something that we've used to do and we don't do it anymore and we want to you know find that emotional fulfillment again. So that's what's going on for your crossing energy. Now in your past this could have been from a month ago or so uh, you have the Five of Swords in the upright position. The Five of Swords is a card that represents conflict. Five generally are cards of conflict, or number is a number of conflict. But this is a victory card, but it's an empty victory. It's like when, you know, you may win the battle, but you lose the war because you're fighting with somebody who you actually care about, a, fa a family member, a friend, or so forth. And um, so, you know, you, you won, you walked away, but um, nobody wins in this situation because now, you know, the relationship is lost. So it's that kind of energy and it can just represent a lot of conflict with people around you that uh, was not very pleasant. But it's in the past, so it's all good. <laughs> and the energies you're leaving the month of July with and uh, they're about to give way. But you have the Hermit in the reverse position, Major Arcana. <clears throat> The Hermit Upright, this is when we're in solitary, solitary confinement. No, we're in a solitary mode for whatever reason. We just need to take a time out or it could be because we're doing some studies or that kind of energy is going on. So we need to seek solitude in order to figure things out. And sometimes it represents self-analysis as well. When 
the card is reversed, however. This is coming out of a period of that self-analysis where we have turned within to try to figure things out. Maybe it could be some of you have figured it out, and uh, maybe some of you were in the Hermit energy due to what happened maybe a month ago or so. And now, you know, you're feeling like uh, you've healed, uh, you've understood the situation, you're ready to move on. The Hermit in reverse, this is a return to action. So you're Scorpios are moving back into the forefront again. Scorpios have been laying low a little bit, I think, due to uh, overwork. And also, uh, Jupiter was in retrograde for quite some time. It's now turned around, so maybe Scorpio's energy is now, you know, moving in a better place. And they're feeling like coming out and rejoining the land of living again. Um, that energy is giving way to the Two of Pentacles in the upright position in the early part of August. The Two of Pentacles is nice energy. It's very balanced. This is where we have harmony in the midst of change. Whatever is going on around us, whether it's change that we have uh, initiated ourselves or the change that is just happening due to, you know, life just moving and, and being fluid. So... The Two of Pentacles can represent sometimes balancing our checkbook, balancing our finances. It can represent juggling two different relationships successfully. It can represent juggling uh, home life and work life. It can represent um, juggling two different homes. If you have a cabin and you have a home and you're, but you're maintaining whatever it is you're juggling, you're maintaining it well. You've got a solid footing on this. So nice energy and moving on towards the middle of the month, August, you have Major Arcana, the lovers in the upright position. This is a card that represents uh, choice. It's a need to make a choice on, in some area of your life. Now for some, yes, it will absolutely represent a relationship where um, perhaps there's a choice to take it to the next level. Or the lovers can also represent where uh, there is an opportunity for a relationship, a serious relationship, but we can choose to get into it or not get into it. We can always choose to love or not to love. A choice at the end of the day is always ours. And some people just choose to bypass it. So it's about that. It's about making a monumental choice. Now, if it's concerning, uh, it's about partnership. So if it's concerning a uh, partnership, business partnership, um, there there could also be an opportunity for some Scorpios to partner up with someone. And uh, if that's the case, there's going to be a need to make a choice. Again, you can choose to move forward with this partnership or not. So there could be a, a period during August in the middle of the month where this, you know, option or this uh, choice comes about for Scorpio. Now, you internally, how you could be feeling in the month of August, you have another major arcana here, but this time it's the Wheel of Fortune. Interesting, uh, Scorpio, to have this as your internal feeling because I always associate this card with Jupiter and Jupiter moving in direct because the card is in the upright position. Um, when Wheel of Fortune is in the upright position, this is when we feel, well, if, it depends on where it falls in the spread, but this is just you internally, how you're feeling. You could be feeling lucky. Uh, Scorpio. Maybe you're feeling uh, the luck is with you. Maybe you're really feeling uh, uh, gem, um, Jupiter's forward movement and you're feeling like you're in the pocket. You're in the sweet spot and your timing is bang on. And if that's how you're feeling, it's probably because you know, that's what's happening because of Jupiter. So that's interesting. Um, you're feeling lucky and and rightly so. <laughs> and people and environment, how people could be viewing you is the Ace of Pentacles in the upright position. This is really nice energy. I like uh, Aces uh, because they represent new beginnings. Now, Pentacles represent the tangible things in life such as finances, uh, home, jobs, uh, that type of thing, uh, material goods. So this could be that, you know, people around you are seeing you as, as having a new beginning in, um, could be a new, maybe a new job or a new business partnership or uh, a new home or that kind of thing. Uh, something solid could even represent a, a solid relationship for some of you where the lovers are playing out in a relationship realm. It could be that people are seeing you as uh, in the beginning stages of something that is going to lead to something very solid. Nice, nice energy, okay? 
And moving on to the next card, this is your hopes and fears position. You have Major Arcana again. Uh, this is the sun in the reverse position. Now, this is not necessarily anything that's going to play out. This is just a fear. Uh, the sun upright is lovely energy of, of vitality and success and, and victory and so forth. When it's reversed like this, um, this could be a fear of either low vitality. A lot of Scorpios have been feeling very, very tired lately. Um, maybe you're afraid that with all that's going on here, you might not be able to keep up uh, vitality wise. Uh, for others of you, you could be fearing a lack of uh, victory or forward moving, movement. But again, it's just a fear. I don't see it playing out. This is actually a really good reading. Um, and the last card you have that ends the read and ends the month for you is the Two of Swords in the reverse position. This is interesting. I always find it interesting when the Two of Swords comes out when the the lovers is also in the reading because they're both cards of choice um but when it's in the upright this is a dilemma a stalemate trying to figure things out now if this were in the upright at the end of the reading it would see you still trying to decide about this partnership but the good news is scorpio it's in the reverse position so this indicates that you um have a choice to make in the middle of the month but it sees you by month's end making a decision an informed decision Two of Swords points back to the Ace of Swords, which is uh, new beginnings and clarity and understanding. And that's why uh, we can make the decision now, because we have it straight in our head or we have the information that we need to make a decision. So there's a decision that needs to be made in the middle of the month. By the end of the month, you're making it. Wow, you really are in the sweet spot. <laughs> okay, Scorpio, I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye for now.